Alright. Hello everyone. So, we're gonna take a look at this game, which I've had just kind of saved up for a special stream for a while now. And I wanted to take a look at it, because it looked interesting, really. Very few games to say, can say that you just have a lower half that is a mech suit. Also, goddamn YouTube is blocking things. And remove that shit. All right, so the life seed is said to contain an incredible earth shattering power, while mostly written of, off as a myth. Some archaeologists are still determined to track down the el elusive item, luring some to incredibly remote locations. This is going to be similar to Canarium, if anyone's seen my playthrough of that. Hey, looks like I missed you. I just wanted to wish you luck before you headed out. I still can't believe you're doing this. I mean, hunting down the... what was it? The life seed? You gotta admit, that sounds crazy. I mean, even if this mythological thing that can shatter worlds or whatever actually exists, what are the chances of you tracking down this ancient relic in the middle of the Rocky Mountains? Listen, I know you want to prove the thing exists. I, I get that. It's an adventure. Hell, it's your career, but can't you do something normal like the rest of us and just backpack Europe or something? Spend a month in Thailand? But hey, if by some miracle you find this thing and become the most famous archaeologist of all time, beers are on me. I'll even trade in your tinfoil hat for a whip and fedora. <laughs> just really hope all those canoeing lessons pay off. I love how it just zooms out and it's just like, CONSPIRACY STUFF! <laughs> oh, well this is interesting. <laughs> Useless discount canoeing lessons. <laughs> Don't take the discount canoeing lessons, you'll never get out alive. Oh, this is pretty. But yeah, um, this is gonna be more walking simulator ish. From what I understand, at least. Oh, that's kind of neat. You've kind of got an inner monologue going. Not said out loud, but... Hmm. Don't shift to run. Okay, we can't go over there. Can't go over here. I've never seen vines stretched taut like that. This is super pretty. Noted. I'm gonna do as much exploring as possible, but I'm thinking we can probably complete this entire game in one night. If not, that's okay. I'll put off the next stream for a little while so we can keep doing the Witcher stream, but other than that... Ooh, glowy stuff! Like glowy stuff, usually it signifies it's important. Look at all this glowy stuff. What are these things? the tree. Eh. Looks like a normal tree to me. No. Let's, let's take a look. 
Better look around. See what we can find. Pots. Ooh, what are these? Oh. You guys aren't scared of me, are you? Some of them are gold and some of them are green. Oh, they seem to build up some sort of char- Ooh, they're pretty. Hmm. Oh, what's this over here? Yeah, are these masks? They look like masks. Good question. How hard did I hit my head? My head. What are these little things? They're so cute. Do they have. Are those antlers on their head? Of course, this is just before one of them eats me or something like that. They're so cute is so common of a phrase to be said. Right before the koala bites you or, or claws your face off. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, what is this? A leaf suit. Welcome to the Pathfinder program. Oh, I love these. As a Pathfinder, you will be tasked with operating and testing the newly developed leaf suit as our hardworking scientists at Pendulum develop new to empower our troops fighting the war in Europe. With the power of the leaf suit, you will be able to perform unimaginable feats. Leaping high into the air. Sprinting as quickly as a cheetah. Even manipulating life and death itself are all part of the many stunts accomplished by the leaf suit. In addition to these marvelous wonders, an audio reel recorder built directly into the suit allows a Pathfinder to conveniently listen to important intelligence hands-free during training exercises. And don't forget to keep an ear out for new upgrades available for your suit, as our scientists continue looking for new ways to improve the fearsome might of the leaf suit. <laughs> The, the guy that they were showing off is just, he looks so baby faced. Ooh, ooh. Oh, who needs double jumping when you can have a single really big jump? Virginia King, Audio Journal, June 4th, 1941. Oh. Shortly after the outbreak of war in Europe, I was enlisted by the army to study the history of this valley. The mysterious forest sprites seem to be the last living remnants of the long-lost culture that once lived here. A large number of them seem to inhabit the northeast sector of the valley, just past the ruins where the life seed, mm. rumored to possess an earth-shattering power, was found. Oh, this That's is as fun. Place as any to study them. <laughs> oh, look at how fast I can move now.
Hopefully this thing holds up. It looks like it's covered in rust. Energy stored is... Oh, okay, the energy is up in the top left there. Known as Amrita can be given but two once looking things. Okay. Looks dead trees or animals. Okay, that costs... Oops. Oh, reanimated. Oh, you move so fast, I love it. Okay, can we get up here? And just hop got our way up? Probably. Uh the other side. What's over here? Thank you. Well, I'm out of Amrita now. So hopefully I don't need to shoot that at anything anytime soon. Oh, these are energy. Okay. Oh man, you can reach such massive speeds. Taken from nearby living things, rich in energy, such as a tree or animal, to replenish the, yeah, replenish the suit. Less robust life forms, such as blades of grass, provide no value. Huh. I will give that back. Oh. Oh shit. Well, that's fun. Rabbits do provide value. Oh, the music just kind of stopped. That's disappointing. Keep going over here. Oh, hello. Oh, failure. Doesn't look like you take any fall damage while you've got this on, though. That's cool. Nope, oh, those don't do anything. Ooh, ooh, what are these? Oh! The army calls this valley Area 634. But I described a new word for it. Susurus. The beauty of that word seems to rival the majesty of this place. I suppose that would make its ancient inhabitants officially known as Susurians. Hmm. civilization on the continent. They seem to have infused the life energy from the trees into their infant structure, but how? Nope, from a pathfinder. I could watch these sprites all day. I can't believe how friendly they are. Brave enough to come right up to us. I guess they have no reason to fear us. We weren't we aren't natural predators to them after all. Yet. 
Maybe that's a hint that if you take energy from the sprites, they won't like you anymore. Neat. There's another one somewhere around here. Over this way, maybe? Luckily for me, the military is helping to explore all these ruins through the soldiers piloting leaf suits. They call these soldiers pathfinders since they can trek through terrain normally inaccessible to someone like me. Every guy back home is going to want to go joyriding in a leaf suit. But until the... Hmm. Enough the military's places to project enter. comes to a close. We're cut off from any contact outside the valley. I guess the world will have to wait just a bit longer to get their hands on these rides. <laughs> All right. It's falling. Mm -hmm. Crash surfaces. Oh! Oh! Soldiers piloting leaf suits leap effortlessly through air functionality are known as pathfinders. Their ability to manipulate life with running seeds, speeds up to 110 kilometers per hour makes them a deadly addition to the battlefield. And no fall damage either. I guess that's got to be part of the Just running 110 feet, 10 kilometers per second. Everyone is making a fuss over. They're absolutely beautiful. They seem to grow randomly throughout the valley. I know nothing about them other than that they are indigenous to this valley and that the army is using their energy for their war project. That's about as much as they'll tell me. <sighs> it's such a shame. I wish they would just let them be. But I suppose this is the whole reason we're here to begin with. Okay, so those mushrooms can be eaten for energy. That's pretty neat. Oh, another medallion. Not that you really need much energy. There's energy lying all over the place, really. Okay. Oh, what? Wow. Collect enough acorns to gain access to certain ancient people. Okay. Huh. Man, sucking the life out of those things really feels bad. They just kind of look at you with this incredibly sad expression while slowly turning around and walking away. Oh god. What valley help? Quantum death functionality allows the user to return to life after dying. Okay. That was interesting. I guess that's what we're supposed to do here. But life must be traded for life. The more you die, the more the valley will die around you until it is fully deadened. With enough life in the valley, you cannot be re or without enough life in the valley, you cannot be revived. So, oh, I see. 
that death took away several leaves. And every time I revive something, the leaves come back. Yeah. Okay, that seems to be how it works. It's as if something else died instead of me. So, taking energy... Sacred trees are common in mythologies around the world, typically acting as symbols of growth, decay, and resurrection. Some act as concepts, such as the world tree Yggdra Yggdrasil of northern or of Norse mythol my mythology. I'm sorry, I don't speak good. Which provides a map to the map for the composition of the universe, acting as a link between heaven, earth, and the underworld. But more recently, in, a, in Christian belief, the Tree of Life represents the immaculate state of humanity before it ex its exposure to the original sin causing its fall. Hmm. Wait, is Norse mythology older than Christian mythology? I guess so. Hmm. Because Christian mythology, in theory, didn't start until around... I don't know, man. I mean, yeah, there's the creationist myths and such. I don't know what else there is. All of the Titan Tree's roots to activate all the obelisks. Sure, why not? Mr. Forest Sprite, you glitching all over the place. Oh. Hmm, what's this say? Monument, ball on the stable, blunt force, make glass. Oh, I got an idea. <laughs> that was great. According to legend, the life is a death on a global scale. Splintering the earth. Can I turn the audio for uh, I turn the music a little bit down. going to each one of these in turn, okay? So we're growing a tree. A big ass tree though. By giving life to trees there's a chance one may drop golden eggs. Oh we've already got three. Probably. I'm sure my mother could use one. 
better than all those feral uh -oh. cats in her backyard anyways. Miss jumps are not actually that dangerous. What this could do with though is a um, ground slam to just stop. Not as actual damage, just stop or stop forward momentum. What's this say? That's from Virginia King. My mother would tell stories, tell me stories of demons as ghostly and benevolent nature spirits. That name seems fitting. Well, they look like little tiny ghosts with happy faces, so yeah. We'll have to do now, have to do for now until a zoologist can classify the forest sprites more appropriately. I wonder if these energy orbs come back. Tree's getting bigger. <laughs> oh, this looks great. You move so incredibly fast. It really is quite amazing. Uh oh, uh oh. I thought I could make that jump, but I didn't have enough speed. Is water incredibly dangerous. Yeah, noted. Let's um, restore some health to the surrounding environment. Golden acorn. We need those. Okay. So we don't want to go in water. There's a box here. A pendulum box. Oh, another medallion. We need those. Anything over here? Oh god, that was close. I'm not seeing anything over here. Another golden acorn. We need all of those, I think. Is there something behind that tree? Hmm. No, no, no. Oh, god damn it. Whatever. I don't think we can get up there yet. Oh. Whoops. Rip. I gotta stop dying so much. Looks bad. The origin of what the valley's inhabitants continues to elude me. They seem to have coexisted with the mysterious forest sprites. I find loose hints of Mesoamerican civilizations such as the Olmec, with their renowned colossal headstone sculptures dating back to 900 BC. Strangely though, the Olmec civilization was much younger and located no less than 5,000 kilometers away from here. Hmm. Remnants of the old civilization? What's over here? Ooh. There's another. A medallion. Anything that I can bring back to life? Hmm. Ah. Hello, acorn. A 
more I bring back to life, the better. All right, get that. It's a big ass tree. Since death is imminent around here, I gotta go a bit slower. Oh god damn it! Really? That was shallow water. I think I'll be running out of energy anytime soon. Energy's everywhere. All right, let's go take a look at the tree. What's up with that? Like, this place seems big, but given how fast you can move, it actually really isn't. Not a medallion. These acorn doors are pretty neat. Captain Hall ordered us collect to collect enough acorns to open all passageways in Sector 3. I'm about halfway there. Ah, images of the, um, the things that I was lighting up. How did this civilization take hold so far north? The land here isn't arable, yet the population that lived here was clearly sedentary in nature. This leads me to believe this place was used as a sacred ground. Are these monuments to the mythical cannibal giants of native lore? The Saiteka? Are they? I don't know, you tell me. I don't really know any of this lore. Just my luck. First day on training run, and what do I do? One of those Amrita swarms they kept on warning us about in the briefing. Oh, what do I run into? The damn thing nearly killed me. Thank goodness I had enough energy to pacify the swarm. What on earth made them so damn aggressive? Ooh, leaf seal upgrade. Get to higher and further areas by double jumping. Oh, okay, so who needs the double jump? But we have the du double jump. Oh, hey, you're a new one. On the, Icarus boost upgrade. the secondary boost augmentation to the leaf suit should allow a pathfinder to jump twice in sequence through the air, increasing the height and distance of their leap drastically. Report any defects to a commanding officer immediately. While pyramids are common through Mesoamerica, I still couldn't believe my eyes seeing one stroke. Well, yeah. Oh my god, my reading is just awful right now. Seeing one such structure here in the valley. Thankfully, the military had the decency to build one of their grotesque facilities a few hundred meters away. Apparently, the Pathfinders are seeking a way to get in by gathering artifacts. Oh, like the medallions? Okay. I assume I need to double jump here. Yeah. Ahead. Even how rarely a life seed is produced, I was so excited when I discovered there was one found in the valley. <laughs> Apparently, the military was just as excited as they cream. immediately confiscated it to study at the Soma facility on the mountaintop. They won't let me anywhere near it. Okay, Soma facility. Maybe the other direction.
<laughs> Holy shit, we can actually make it over here. Couple of things. Always useful. The Amrita swarms indigenous to the valley are incredibly aggressive. It's advisable to maintain a considerable distance between oneself and the swarm. Otherwise, it will send a wave of attack drones towards the victim. Like a bee's defense, the swarms will suicide themselves to protect the rest of the cluster. But... Huh. But we can pacify them. How long do they remain pacified? Do they have a time limit? Are they happy little swarms? Mm, this music. I guess kind of the same. Well, bees go a bit crazy around them. If there's one thing I could do without in this valley, it's those damn Amrita swarms that seem to infect this place. They aren't so bad when they're calm, but. When they're starved of Amrita energy, they become incredibly aggressive, sending waves of drones toward intruders in suicidal attacks. They seem to be becoming angrier the longer we're here. Maybe you guys are sucking the energy out of the area. I suppose leaf suits will do that, right? Hello, what is this? An energy cluster. Generators. Oh, okay. if they know how difficult it is to hear that character or the um, just the intercom when a pathfinder dies yep yep we already found this out This is open. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, we're on Titan Rock now. David's been writing me again. It's like that guy can't take a nap for more anymore these days. Sure, I was on guard duty at the time, but what am I guarding against? There's nothing out here. Yesterday I saw a rabbit run by. 
was the highlight of my day. Oh, sprites. Hey, guys. Uh, can I give you guys energy? A little bit. There's nothing else in here, is there? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's keep moving. More and more dead trees up here. Well, we've got full life again. How do I, I guess I just jump. Yeah, there's a ramp here. Off we go. Nope, don't want to jump that way. Yet. Actually starting to run out of energy a little bit. Just a bit though. We're at full health, so even if we do die, it shouldn't be that bad off. These Amrita swarms though. A bit of a pain. Oh, that was weird. glad that thing remains pacified permanently. If it didn't, then I would be very much out of luck. Are we trying to climb? Can we climb? We cannot climb. All right. gonna run out of energy I said I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about I don't like taking energy from life but it looks like we may not need to Kong. <laughs> those long jumps are so good You don't seem to have a fire rate. Seems to fire as fast as you can click the mouse. Hmm. 
Hmm. Here we go. Oh. We need to be higher. Up this way. Also, what's in here? Working the pipes in... Oh, no, from a worker. Working the pipes in this place is a real pain. It's as if... It's as though they went out of their way to build the facility in the worst place imaginable just to make the, it tough on lowly pipe fitters like me. Repairing a pressure system leak takes me half a day just to get to it. They aren't paying me enough, if you ask me. Then why are you still working for them? Mushrooms I don't really feel bad taking mush taking energy from. Hmm. Can't open doors. We go. Guess we go in that pipe. All right. Please keep a safe distance away from Amrita swarms. They often become territorially aggressive when in need of Amrita. If a swarm is blocking access for you, please request for a pathfinder to pacify the swarm. I wonder if they just kill living things, since living things don't have energy. Stay on the lookout for intruders on the premises. A number of guards have reported seeing shadowy figures watching our operations from afar. It could be a po sign of possible yeah, possible espionage. Report trespasser sightings at once. Ooh. If only you moved this fast in every game. This is even higher than Doom levels of fast. Oh, what did I say? Oh. What's this? Note from a Pathfinder. Dying while we're wearing the leaf suit is an incredible experience. No one outside myself can possibly observe it. The best way I can describe it is a daydream one sometimes gets lost in. I die by falling into a lake and the next second I'm standing up by the shore. No one else brings being the wiser about what just happened to me. Is it even real? Dunno. Really don't know. Oh, this looks like a grappling hook. Viper coil upgrade. Each use requires one unit of energy. Oh, yes! The fiber coil upgrade to the leaf suit allows pathfinders to grapple onto certain target points within a limited range, allowing them to reach areas where jumps prove insufficient. For testing purposes, the fiber coil is currently limited to particular targets. Can we remove that limitation? Ever? There we go. Now we've got all our energy back. We have more than enough acorns for this. We've got a large portion of this valley mapped out so far. As far as I know, we've explored most of the acorn doors. I hear there are, there are a couple squads with almost enough medallion sacks as the big step for me. It's almost like a, the army's here on a scavenger hunt. Find this many things to get this many things. Oh, you can... I had no idea you could revitalize the vines. Interesting. Me?
Where are we going next? Ah. I'm gonna try to revitalize things if I have the energy to. You never know, maybe they'll help me eventually. Wait, hang on a second. That acorn door. The repeating cycle of birth, life, and death, affected by the karma fostering during one's death. Fostered during one's death. Is that what Pathfinders experience, constantly dying and reviving? According to Buddhism, there is no beginning to the cycle, but it can, however, be, bro be broken through enlightenment. More acorn doors. So yes, the energy does respawn, it looks like. Oh, another upgrade? So soon. Ah. energy powers are really cool. They're implemented so well, actually. Quest updated. Explore the elevator shaft. One more and I get another... Uh, okay. Note from an energy... The engineer... Ever since the Pathfinder program decided to use the Deadeye train blocks as part of their training, my engineers have been constantly putting themselves in harm's way to set them up. One poor fellow tragically fell to his death while stringing up a Deadeye across a catam. Ca catam? Chasm. We don't even know to- We don't even get to wear a damn leaf suit. Otherwise he may have survived. May have survived? Lived. What a waste. We're here. life to everything. Make everything beautiful. Yeah, that's apparently where the life feed is. Pathfinder this train here? I suppose it would make sense. Guys love that stuff, right? 
<laughs> Naive. Naive she is. Okay. This is interesting. If I see it, it's getting revitalized. Hey, hey, you over there. You are far too angry for my taste. stuff. Ooh, one more energy. Note from a researcher. Pathfinder squad points tally from daily exercises. Land sharks, 48. Raptors, 43. Valkyries, 37. Oh, wild roses are just like, wow, guys. Dropping the ball. Almost half what land sharks has. Every t everyone here thinks I'm a liar. No one believes I got attacked by a grizzly bear during one of my runs. Luckily, I managed to extract its life before it could swipe off. Swipe my yeah, swipe at my face. I got real far before turning back to return its life energy. Hope I never see the likes of him again. What is dying to a grizzly bear like in the life suit? It's different from actually dying, isn't it? Wait, did we just come back? Weren't we just up here? These medallions get, get cleaned up fast. Getting into that pyramid first is going to be tough. Hopefully I find some more quick. I want to be the first to explore it. That is not gonna work. So just have to keep healing plants. At least he re returned that bear to life. Could have just kept that life energy. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, the Soma facility. We're already here, wow. Well, there's a front door. Where did everyone go? Energy packs? Huh. In candy bar form, that's funny. There's no containers around here? In a room full of containers, there are no containers. That's, um... Hmm. Bit disappointing, actually. A medallion! I still need to get some of my life back. I guess let's try up top, right? Oops. God, I really do feel like I can go anywhere. that over there? Oh, there's a few. I'm gonna get back to restore a small amount of your energy. Oh, you, you restore my energy now. Oh, it's totally worth eating you guys. Basically raw energy, it seems like. Life energy. Why aren't they in other areas of the world? They seem to occur here, and only here. Questions for later. Oh, look at that! You can probably get in here. an angry one. Okay. It's so 
nice that they heal us after you fed them. Acorns, acorns, acorns. Always need more acorns. I probably missed an acorn door already, honestly. I've been having too much fun just moving. The movement system in this game is real good. Um, I guess we climb? A slight issue. Ooh, what's this down here? Oh, this is the way. Oh, oh no! I've got to climb all the way back up now. This is not going to be enough. Damn. Where am I? Okay. everyone go? I've not seen any corpses yet. I did not take long to get back up here. I love that. storing it. Are these physical objects or actually energy? Ah. Hmm. Ah, got it. Okay, now we're in the Soma facility. No trees or orbs nearby take energy from storage cells. They seem to have infinite energy. Interesting. I'd give anything to be a Pathfinder, but there's no way I'd be eligible unless I suddenly lost 60 pounds. That'll never happen. 
Too bad. I bet you could pick up a lot of girls with those things. Like literally pick them up? September 17th, 1942. My name is Andrew Fisher, leading physicist and head of Project Pendulum. Pendulum is the research and development project directed by the Army Corps of Engineers to produce a weapon of mass destruction that can bring an end to the war through the unconditional surrender of our enemies. In response to the spy-ridden efforts of the Manhattan Project, headed by my cohort, Robert Oppenheimer, Pendulum has been founded under the utmost secrecy. Funds, pride, and soldiers' lives are all on the line in a race to win the war. Thus giving rise to the name Pendulum. Hmm. Within the summer facility, we are surrounded by the Amrita fuel slugs extracted from the valley. As such, we tend to we tend to be isolated from the effects of the Pathfinder's quantum death side effects. I was amazed to one day step out of the facility to see scores of trees dead around me. boxes Get in there. the box up here. Has everyone been gone? Deadlocks. Dead. Deadlocks. Welcome to the Pendulum Research and Development Site. All personnel must report to the 
Due to the power strain, strain as the reactor ramps up production to meet our increased quota, we've experienced frequent power outages. As such, I've ordered Amrita generators as a backup power source to temporarily install, uh, to be temporary, bleh, temporarily installed throughout the facility. Blackouts should cease to occur. I finally got to see one of those orbs in the wild while I was out on leave today. There's something surreal about them. I stared into it for who knows how long. We better finish up this project soon. Those supply drops are only scheduled to arrive for a few more months. Otherwise, due to isolation policy, we're on our on our own. The pilots know nothing about this operation other than their orders to drop off supplies into this location until the end of the year. I think they were told this is for the mining operation. No wonder Fisher is going mad over timelines. Got 15 medallions so far. I wonder how many we need. We've yet to find the pyramid. In order to patrol the Soma facility again today, I've circled through the same room 30 times since noon. At least I get to smile at the cute scientist in the pressure chamber each, chambers each time. She hasn't smiled back at me yet. I hope she doesn't find me creepy. Note from the Pathfinder. It's odd to think about what exactly a life it is once you've experienced quantum death. What exactly are the ingredients that make up my life? My ingredients aren't really any different from anyone else's. Carbon, calcium, hydrogen, etc. held together with some energy. So what exactly makes me, me? I guess, if anything, I'm just a pattern. One that forms out of chaotic, one that forms out of the chaotic blender of matter in the universe, like a whirlpool out of water. When I die, the pattern simply dissipates back into the cosmos. Are we all the same universe, simply expressing itself? No. dangerous. Oh, that's how much they hold. Well, I read the swarms hold more. Ow. Well, they don't seem to mind healing me. Energy orbs grow, growing here are the key to the valley. Pendulum completely depends on the vast magnitude of energy these orbs contain within them. Regardless of where they came from, they are the key to ending the war. Through Pendulum, we can harness the so-called Emrita energy of the orbs to release it however we see fit. Oppenheimer's atomic bomb will pale in comparison to what we can produce here. So you're planning on harvesting pure life energy. That seems bad. All personnel are expected to work longer hours during the ramp up in production. If you believe you are unable to perform your duties as, as expected, please report to a supervisor immediately. Oh my god, the exposition here. The 
A reactor and thermal diffusers are very unstable. Unstable and must. Oh, thank you. Must both. Yeah. Must be located both far apart and underground to ensure any ex accidental explosions are contained. Thank you. Large vents are needed to circulate cool air deep into the mountain. Conveniently, one of the mountains already had an ancient tunnel leading deep into the heart of the mountain. This site was chosen for the thermal diffuser and weapons site. The two sites are connected via underground, thank you, rail to transport materials. Yeah, they, these are this ones really like me once I've fit, um, helped them out. More in exposition, holy shit. A large scale extinction event occurred in North America near the end of the Pleistocene period. Interestingly, the epicenter of the extinction seems to stem from this valley's location. Could Area 634 have anything to do with it? 634? What is Area 634? Okay, let's try heading up here. See what we can find. I, I can't believe it. I'm almost at a loss for words. This is the discovery of a lifetime. No, no, of the 20th century. Have I found Schrodinger's cat? This is beyond my wildest imagination. As a result of the reaction between the Amrita energy and the Pathfinder's own life force, they experience what I have dubbed quantum death. When a Pathfinder dies while wearing the suit, their consciousness branches into a new reality, unharmed. They achieve quantum immortality. Huh. They told us we're building some sort of alternative energy facility here, but little else. Tradesmen are only allowed in certain areas at certain times for certain jobs. They're keeping us completely in the dark. Having us all focus on a single task at a time rather than giving us any hints as into the big picture. What are they hiding from us? Hmm? Now the isolation policy is in effect. I found out this is a weapon project of some sort. I still don't know much, but I hope to find out more. I just wish I could talk to my family back home. Let them know I'm doing okay. Hmm. hmm. Someone's still around? I mean, these legs are pretty heavy, so it's possible that I could have just bumped it off the desk. Let's take a look around. Sounds like we've got an Amrita swarm somewhere around here. Yeah, we do. Okay, he's fine now. Today, one of the guards patrolling the Soma facility walked by. I asked him if he was keeping an eye on things. I don't think he got it. Huh. I get it. It's not funny, but I get it. Bush, you are now full bush. Be happy. Hmm. Oh my god, all of the notes. The leaf suit may prove to be the pinnacle of pendulum. 
the ability to manipulate life and death using the God Hand, the agility, and the ability to circumvent death, all thanks to the Amrita energy converted from this from this valley's orbs. We can, yeah, we can create the ultimate soldier. The Mark II's success will herald a new wave of iterations. From Private Matthews. The way Edwin makes a show with Virginia all the time really makes my teeth grind. Everyone knows the romantic involvement between pro personnel is prohibited, yet no one does anything about it. Why does he go get to run around with the girl while the rest of us sit around and play poker for the 9,000th time? 9,000? Oh, God. Land Sharks! The winning team. Wild Roses. The losing team. You know, just you're sucking the life energy out of everything every time you die. Be careful. To produce bombs of unparalleled yield, we rely upon the life seed housed within a reactor found deep underground beneath the Soma facility. By harvesting the high energy yield orbs found within the valley, we pass their energy through the life seed which acts as a sort of amplifier, magnifying the energy to unprecedented levels. The explosives we create here will dwarf anything the Manhattan Project could ever possibly fathom. <laughs> you could probably blow up the Earth. The other scientists were, were all talking about atoms. I told them not to trust them since they make up everything. They asked me to leave. Ah. Or Miller. Hey, is this the reactor? Gotta be getting closer. Oh, let's get some of that energy back. There we go. Depending on the degree of magnitude, certain organisms provide very little amnita energy when targeted by the leaf suit god hand. Smaller organisms such as insects, grass, flowers, and other less substantial entities provide close to zero energy, thereby affording no value for pathfinders seeking energy. Useful. 
full. More notes. I thought the bombs being created were impressive enough, but it's that new weapon type that was undoubtedly steal that will undoubtedly steal all the attention. It's being called Thanatos. What the, after the god of death? That can't be good. That can't be good at all. Effectively, those wearing leaf suits gain the ability to deny the actuality of wave function collapse. In other words, the ability to branch through various objective realities as part of the many-world theory of quantum mechanics. With this ability, pathfinders have visions of themselves dying. Each time this occurs, something nearby dies, such as the, an animal or nearby vegetation. It was soon discovered that, the, that if the pathfinder had a vision of their own death, it is in, it is in fact them actually dying. Instead of remaining de dead, they branch into a new wave of reality, whereupon they continue th to live, albeit at the cost of the equivalent amount of life within that branch. To put it plainly, if a pathfinder wearing the leaf suit dies through some accident, their death is traded with the life of a nearby living thing. They achieve... Okay, we've read this. Tracing the life seed's location was a simple matter. After years of tracking the epicenter of the police scene extinction event, I was led to the valley's location. I couldn't believe my eyes. Upon immediate examination of one of the orbs, I discovered the, their vast energy potential. With the help of Pathfinders, I was able to locate the life seed within the valley. Oppenheimer wouldn't believe his ears upon hearing the marvels I've accomplished. When I met Einstein at Princeton, I couldn't help but see a hint of Oppenheimer reflected in him. I was astonished by his clairvoyance into the makeup of our universe, viewing the experience of all things natural and spiritual in perfect unison, with the self acting as little more than an optical illusion in the perpetual flow of the universe. When Oppenheim Oppenheimer and I studied Indology under Arthur Ryder, I could see that some compassion and empathy for all living creatures brewing within him. Huh. That's sane. Sorry. More lore! I hate that annoying pun guy. Oh, they're talking about Miller. Miller. I went into the storage room looking for inert gas to fill, glove fill the glove box. He walked by with the last canister in hand and told me it was argon. Oh. Oh my god. They couldn't have just made more stuff to listen to. Font of death and immortality using the leaf technology. Technology is a fascinating field of study. Using this tech, a person could live out a full life without fear of death, of an accident cutting it short. Albeit the use of immortality is a misnomer, as the user simply shifts to a new timeline wherein they are still alive. This can only hold true until a practical time is are exhausted. For example, an el elderly man dying of natural causes is unlikely to shift into a timeline where they do not die as that for parallel world is very unlikely to exist. I think we've gotten through all of the... Okay, good. Moving on. God, I need something to drink. Oops. I did not realize what I was jumping over until the very end of that.
life here seems to be slowly dwindling. With the life suit stats. I'm crazy, but I see it becoming quieter. Are we gradually killing this place? Yep. That self-righteous anthropologist is stirring up trouble again. Her moral objections to this project are the last thing I need on my mind. If it weren't for the isolation policy, I'd have her removed from the premises and sent back home. Oh, hell yeah! Every time we die, we harm the valley. And exploring the valley is not exactly easy. 26 acorns, holy crap. Well, we're not getting that anytime soon. actually got me a few times. Alright, let's go down. Pushrod piston, maximum velocity upgrade. Oh boy! Our newly developed pushrod piston will allow Pathfinders to achieve an unprecedented velocity. By energizing the tunnel rails, the leaf suit should conduct enough energy to reach immense speeds. Ha 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 ha! Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, hang on a second. What's up here? Oh my god, those rails make you move so incredibly fast, though. But I need to explore. Yeah. <laughs> Woo.
this looks ominous. Is that a hand? That is a hand. See, this is how you make a rail section without making a rail section. It's beautiful. You just make the player capable of going that fat, that speed. Also, that's ahead. Oh my god, this is so much fun. This is also restoring my energy too, while I walk along it, because of course it is. It's an energized rail. I feel like this is the end, or pretty close to it. Well, maybe not. Hang on a second. What's over here? Oh! Water. Water is over there. Yeah, let's not go that way. I agree with you, game, who pointed me the other direction. This is so cool. And I've got giant set pieces like this that make it even cooler. And Rita Swarm's all over the place. I don't give a damn. <laughs> that entire goddamn section was Fucking badass. Oh, that was beautiful. Now back to reading things. Probably. Yep, definitely. Whoever these people were that once lived in the valley sure went through a lot of trouble carving out all these giant colossi everywhere, even in the tunnels. Most of them have been, must have been pretty important to them. Digging out these passageways through the middle of, of the mountain isn't easy. Even with our technology. Jesus. What's down here? first yield test was a surefire success. The explosion yielded 20 kilotons of TNT energy. I know I can outmatch this at greater efficiency, but time is running out. I am ordering a 300% increase in production to meet quotas for a megaton blast yield produced in three days time. But of course, our trump card lies in the Thanatos cannon prototype under development. Its power, unlike anything Oppenheimer could possibly fathom. With this technology, we'll become the closest thing to gods the world has ever seen! Um, that doesn't sound good. I'm glad this technology didn't get out, apparently. Or maybe in this universe it did.
That's a big ass door. An impressive as hell door too. That must be the reactor. Any reading down here? Yep. The strain we've been putting on this reactor is beyond safe limits. Ever since the ramp, I, ramp up, I feel like I'm risking my life coming down here for the daily pressure checks. We had better finish up soon. I don't know how much more the reactor can take. So this is the life seed. Or close enough to it. It's inside that thing. Ah. Life seed. Fisher's all but ignoring any of my pleas to slow down what they're doing to the valley. We're speeding blindly past the point of no return. Edwin can see it too. The animals have all vanished or died off. The trees are withering away. Even those Amrita swarms have become incredibly aggressive. And the Damon. What will happen to them? Coming in over broadcast of victory in Europe. What's the point in this? There really isn't one, except pride and hubris. Can we get up there? No, let's try going further up. First, let's take a closer look around. God, this thing really is huge. The life seed's ability to amplify energy is incredibly dangerous. If energy passes through too much, through too quickly, it will amplify at an exponential rate, uncontainable by our conductors and thermal chemical reserves. To ensure we do not blow out the energy conduit, we must mitigate a restricted amount of amrita to pass through it at a given time. Typically, only one pass through is all the conductors can handle before the energy output becomes too immense to possibly contain, reaching upwards of a full beta joule. That's a lot of energy. A fucking beta joule. What will removing the life seed from the reactor do to the reactor itself? I assume it'll shut it down. I can only hope. This thing is not exactly environmentally friendly. So what does the life seed look like? Ah. Okay, that's a dead end. Sorry, but what the hell is Astra and life extraction? The second 
facility built within the valley, named Astra, works in unison with Soma. The valley's orbs are harvested at the Astra facility, which then cycles through the Soma reactor to be amplified and returned to Astra for weapon creation. The two facilities are interdependent on each other, like yin and yang, to maintain a balance. Okay. So if we follow these conveyor belts, maybe we can find out where the other facility is. What is that? That thing has antlers like the sprites do. I feel like firing bolts of energy at it probably won't actually do much. Rely on the Astra, Astra's link with Soma. The Astra extractor pulls in energy, typically from orbs to deliver to Soma, while the Soma reactor amplifies the energy and sends it back to Astra. Hmm. I wonder if the different colors actually mean anything. They don't seem to. Can't go in water. Another energy upgrade. We must be getting ooh. Ooh, what is going on? All the trees are dying. within Soma's auxiliary reserves to sustain the link for years. However, if the link to Soma is ever disrupted, Astra will need to be shut down immediately. Indeed. I guess that's what we're going to do. Yeah, I'm gonna need to keep uh, putting life back in these trees. What? What? Giant ass bridge up there. They won't listen. The energy they're demanding from the valley is far outpacing whatever can be produced from the orbs. It's killing this place. And we'll lose it forever if we don't do something. Edwin may try to stop me. I'll no doubt be charged with treason for the cause. Maybe even executed. But this is larger than me. This valley. It could very well change the world. I have to save it before it's lost forever. Maybe. What stopped her though? Well, 
I imagine a few things. here before. Medallion. We still haven't entered that pyramid yet. Back at full health. Ah, I just wandered off. All right. Acorn's bad. No! No! Put those trees back! Back the way that I want them. trees haven't been affected yet. Oh. Oh, these guys hurt. They fired about the same rate as I do. Drop acorns of all things? What's up with that? I just realized my head is in the way. Hang on a second. Yeah, you guys can't see what's going on over here. There. 
I probably should check that before I um, actually start up the game. There. Now you can see my energy and how many acorns I have. No, I can't open that door because I'm sad. Or more correctly, because I don't have enough acorns. We're working on that problem. Is this the night time? This has got to be the facility. We just have to figure out how to get in. Well, we figured out how to get in. That didn't take long. I miss the winter months up here. Nothing beats running on the snow with the snowshoe attachments on my leaf suit. Sliding down the hills, gliding on ice, and just sitting back to watch the demons chase snowflakes are some of my favorite memories from this place. The Leaf Suit Mark 1 I proved successful in its capacity to manipulate energy. I read an energy on a small mobile scale. The Mark II saw the addition of a pilot Emrita infusion and stronger protective plates to the thighs. Mark III research and development is still underway. Wait, so you're saying that I might be able to upgrade this thing even more? It's already pretty heavy, heavily upgraded at this point. The Soma and Astra facilities are held in Daj. Yes. We heard all this. Great job out, out there today. You smoked those raptor goons in the timing run. Keep it up, buddy. I think we have almost enough medallions to get into, into the ancient pyramid near Astra. Word has it the raptor squad is picking up the pace, so we need to work fast. Hang on a second. Hold on a moment. Okay, that was weird. Someone tried to call me and Edwin's did not get anywhere. To help. If only to make sure nothing happens to me. One of his squad mates mentioned to him a weapon being built at Astra. Some sort of cannon. We should be able to use it to destroy Astra beyond reparation. Enough to shut down this project. Unfortunately, everyone is working round the clock with the increase in production, so we'll need to pull an alarm to get everyone out. We can then sneak into Astra through the underground tram tunnel that connects the two sides. No one should get hurt. Or hopefully caught. To whomever may find this recording, please understand that Fisher has strayed beyond reason. If we don't put a stop to this madness, they could destroy this valley. And with power like this, maybe even the world. If we failed, please do whatever it takes to stop them before it's too late. Holy crap, the exposition in this room. As much as I love this valley, the thought of returning home with Edwin makes me so happy. I think you're insane for doing... Oh wait, letter from Edwin to Virginia. I think you're insane for doing this, but I don't think I can stop you. The best way to do this is tomorrow uh, during the guard switch. No matter what, we cannot allow ourselves to get caught. Uh, 
How simple is it to abuse this valley for the sake of building weapons? It's so easy to destroy. But creation, that's what advances civilization. Where would the Romans be if all their inventions were solely for warfare? We think too small. We think only of the war. What cost will we pay down the road? The next battle, the next war. What about the next generation? Anonymous researcher to Virginia. Virginia, I know of a way to use that cannon you mentioned to disrupt the project. It may sound crazy, but it's worth a shot. Something may need to be done. Something needs to be done as soon as possible. Not only are we risking our own lives out here, we're endangering the entire valley, valley, if not the world. Meet me tomorrow night near the step pyramid near Japan. Yeah, just past dusk. Make sure no one sees you. Ed went to Virginia again. Please don't go through with this. This is the army, army we'll talk, yeah, we're talking about. During a war, they'll execute you if you do anything they consider tradie traitorous. I can't bear that thought. Listen to me. I know the things they're doing are vile, to say the least, but is it worth risking your life over? Please, Virginia, consider this. I'd say so. Memo from Engineer. Please be cautious when traveling through the utility tunnels. Listen and watch for the possible signs of collapse. The loud bearing beams appear to be warped under the stress of the mountain weight. Crews will be sent out weekly to monitor tunnel integrity. God damn it. What happens if we get there too late? Is this just, yeah, that's Virginia's lab, I think. Yeah, you can see the windows, Wendigo skull over there. Okay. I can't believe we're ramping up production. This seems suicidal. I hope they know what they're doing. I think we're going to end up killing everything in this valley. Yeah, yeah, we get the idea. Where's that thing going? Uh, the door. But there's a button over here. Okay, I guess it's not a button. Never mind then. We go up there. Word has come in of a suspected attempt to sabotage our operations at Area 634. The report indicates a soldier from the Pathfinder Division may have committed himself to treason by planning to use the Thanatos cannon prototype being developed at Astra to destroy the reactor. The report came from a colleague of the alleged perpetrator, suspecting him as a potential Soviet operative. Since we only have one man's word to go on, we will need to catch him and any other accomplice in the act. As such, guards will be posted discreetly at Astra. Nothing will intervene with pendulum's completion. That doesn't sound good at all. Someone betrayed them.
Corporal McDavid ordered me to run laps around the barracks for sleeping on duty again. That guy's a real pain, if you ask me. Everyone was watching, so I tried to play it cool and pretend I was running around the barracks by choice. It seemed to be working until I vomited. What is that sound? Note from a lieutenant, Private Lenny Watts has been rep rec yeah, reprimanded for conspiring to waste valuable resources and manpower to produce an ice rink. He will be cleaning cafeteria dishes for the next four weeks. It is not yet known who else was involved. An ice rink. I claim responsibility for the sabotage attempt. Virginia King had no role or knowledge of my plan to damage the Astro facility. I deceived her into coming with me to ensure her safety. Please release her from custody. Sweet, but probably not what ended up happening. Now my question is, where are the skeletons? To whoever may find this, please stop Pendulum at any cost. Andrew Fisher has gone mad and won't stop short of harming this planet to satisfy his pride. Do anything you can to disrupt the project before they destroy the entire valley. There's nothing I can do now. But yeah, they were caught. Conceded guilt in regards to sabotage attempt, claims full responsibility, and denies Virginia King's involvement. Denial of espionage or collusion with foreign governments. I mean, that, that part's true. Like we got something working. Private Matthews, a soldier from the Pathfinder Division, has come forward with suspicions that Private First Class Edwin Hall may be attempting to sabotage Area 634 operations. He claims to have disclosed a method to destroy both facilities at once using a weapon devised at Astra, unaware of Hall's intent. Fearful of the consequences due to his complicity, he has come forward with his startling information. Aside from his words, however, we have no evidence of, to corroborate his allegations. cluster of energy pellets drops from these guys. Oh my god, are you serious? It goes into the mouth? Well, I'm taking a short jog around this place. I want to see this entire thing. Got another head? No, just a rock. What's in here? Another medallion. Big ass rock to make a head out of.
upside down. This is all the energy lying around. Hmm. This seems to be a dead end. These things are made of energy, large amounts of it too. Interesting. Analog magnetic wall surfaces with the magnetic core. Oh. Private Hendricks, I'm providing your squad with a newly devised magnetic core for your leaf suit so that you may test its limitations. Take your squad to the train loading dock connecting to the tram tunnel. It should prove an ample testing ground for this latest upgrade. Report back by the end of the day tomorrow. Hmm. What's in here? Uh, yep. Four. Is that it? Oh, no, this goes up too. This is so weird holding onto the wall like this. Still sucking life out of the trees, but not the actual energy orbs, which is a bit curious. Okay, so the purple ones can cloak. I don't appear to have any ranged attacks. all of it. Oh. Kind of bummed now. get up there now due to the magnetic 
magnetic core, I think it's called. Yep. Hey, it's pretty handy. Those damn pathfinders keep getting in the way of our loading. The way they run around on the walls is training for who knows what. They think they own the place. Well, I have a job to do, and I'll be damned if these brash young men put me behind schedule. Ah, brash young men. from here. Can't really go that many places. I guess up. This way. Ooh. More acorns. Ooh. Maximum speed. Are we fine? We're fine. I think we're supposed to be here. Well, you know what? I am here. The game can deal with it. Uh, I think I'm supposed to go down here. I got it. Oh, those are actually kind of useful. Oh, 
are these things? Oh boy, those guys hurt me a lot. I was not expecting them to come over while I was on the wall. Alright. Next area. the rail area Down is death, but we can walk along the ceiling. The ceiling. <laughs> I really like this game. Stop stealing the goddamn energy. It's dawn again. Hopefully we're here. At least we should be here pretty soon. Yeah, noted by all the craters. I guess we just keep going this way. Hey little guys. These guys are so cute. I don't know what they are though. Ooh! Acorn door! Acorn door! You guys are different than the other ones. You guys are green. Well, I guess I'll never find out what you guys do. Oh, there's another one still. Did you just leave the gas room? Ew. Oops. Yeah, those ones aren't that hard. The stealth ones and the projectile ones are much harder. Oh, 
as baffling as these ancient ruins are, I see hints of the civilization hiding within them, of other civilizations hiding within them. The Aztecs believed that life came from gods sacrificing themselves. They produce the sustenance that nourishes life, and there and a great ongoing sacrifice continues to sustain the universe. They believe that everything springs from these from the severed bodies, limb, and heads of those sacrificed gods, while humanity itself are those deserved and brought back to life for, through penance. It's quite possible we're witnessing a reflection of these beliefs here within the valley. Oh my god, the reading. Like countless other civilizations, many Mesoamericans also believed in reincarnation. This meant no bur body burning as the body's vital forces must be preserved. The Aztecs believed that our heart was a fragment of the sun, a piece of the cosmos trapped within us. Just thought of how the uh, the um, life seed is in chess piece of the, li the leaf suit. The Aztecs believed that our heart was a fragment of the... Oh, right. Uh, human sacrifice was seen as repaying the debt of life owed to the universe. Was that what they were doing here? A sacrificial restitution to the earth? Maybe. Not where I want to go yet. It is, however, where I want to go eventually. Where's the other tree? Seeing the other, is it over here? Is it down there? Pulled together, the Valkyries only have half as many medallions as we need across. To access the step pyramid. I hear the raptors are a good chunk of the way there, but my money's on the land sharks being piled given all of the practices, yeah. Medallion. Uh, 
Oh man, that took, took a lot of energy out of us. Just getting over here. This is so much fun now. Like that's a reservoir of some sort. Needed a bit more of a head start there. There we go. Much better. Still so far away. Is Astra creating these creatures? Idea. What if these are what became of the humans? Because the humans disappeared. There's not even corpses left. That's kind of a scary idea. Probably. Oh god. Yeah, we should probably restore some trees while we're at it. Because I need the health. Alright, we're good to go. Towards the end of the game. April twenty fourth, nineteen forty three. What is the significance behind these colossal statues found throughout the valley? I find they all look so very voracious. I keep returning to the idea of the mythical Saiteka, the legendary tribe of cannibalistic giants that roamed North America and came into conflict with the Aboriginals. But why would they be worshipped here? There must be something else to it. Yeah!
Oh. Hmm. Hey, Corn. <laughs> Ow. Don't care. The pyramid built by the Sasorian served as a ceremonial structure exalting the Colossi. Along with the Titan Tree and Daemon, they intertwined to form a mythology. From what I gathered, the Colossi were once humans who feasted upon the forbidden fruit corrupting them into giant monstrosities, cannibalizing their fellow man and devouring all life within the valley. Is this a tale of caution? Are the Sasurians warning us against abusing the power of the life seed? Possible. All right. The sheer amount of effort the Sasurians put into const constructing these architectural marvels is astonishing, but it's a bit hard to understand sometimes. They had clearly grasped forms of advanced mathematics to be able to con construct such structures. How long did it take them? How large of a population was sustained here? It could have been thousands. Oh my god, look at the statues. Well, I opened the pyramid. Time to find out what's inside, right? How the hell did this get in here? Ooh, free! Forty! Huh, wow. Guess we're not opening that door. Yeah, they only take three. Hmm. Oh, where am I going to get 40 medallions on short notice when I only have two right now? Hmm, 
these heads everywhere. got here. Well, that stopped us dead. It could possibly be the lake skipper allows pathfinders to run across water for a limited What? I have tasked the Valkyrie Pathfinder squad with testing out the Lake Skipper upgrade for the leaf suit. The lake near the Astra facility should prove ideal for the assessment. I expect a full report on my desk as soon as testing is complete. What? And that'll kill me still. What's over here? Still need to actually, you know, hit at a distance.
<laughs> oh, this is just delightful. shouldn't jumped. You gotta hit the water at a specific speed. There we go. At a specific angle. We're back at the Astra facility. I think I may have made a mistake. Lots of ships broken. I never thought running on water could be so much fun. That's something you don't say every day. Every day. Flooding's bad for me. Flooding's real bad for me. Today I was ordered to patrol the Astra facility. McDavid was all panicky about some sabotage attempt or something. Yeah, right, I thought. Anyhow, I fall asleep. Goddamn millennials. Controlling our nuclear reactors.
Pop, 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 pop. Give me acorns. Oh, hey, little guys. Yeah, I was about to ask. I like this character. He's got exactly the same things on his mind as I do. Don't worry, we are speed incarnate right now. Oh, oh, was that water? Holy crap, I couldn't tell. actually getting a bit harder. got to put some life into some trees at some point here. My health is getting quite low. Well, more correctly, the valley's health is getting quite low. Holy crap, they do have skeletons. Yeah, exactly my thoughts. I can't bring anything back to life either. Um. Um, I don't think... Oh! Hey, big guy. Huh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, does he do a lot of damage. Okay. 
using your own health as ammo is um, not advisable. But it's what I'm gonna have to do. Oh my god, this is such a fantastic ball fight. Or at least a visually stunning ball fight. Oh, there's a way out, I guess. Now we have to figure out how to get up there. Oh, here we are. for that. I'd actually like some exposition right now. There we go. It's only the beginning. Imagine a weapon of mass destruction without the structural damage incurred. By extrapolating the mechanics of the leaf suit's god hand to a larger scale, I have devised a weapon capable of stripping all life from cities, even entire nations when used with the life seed. The Thanatos cannon will be the optimal super weapon, rendering all others obsolete. <laughs> These bombs we're all competing to produce will look paltry in comparison. Yeah, but what about the bodies? You got to have insane Professor Fisher. The Brahmastra will be the greatest bomb the world has ever seen. I should gather, or I should be able to gather enough Amrita em energy to produce a 100 megaton bomb. Can you imagine it? Every nation on Earth will tremble before this. Oh, okay. Is that this? Is this the Brahmastra? That looks more like a reactor core to me. It's got wires coming out of it. Also, there is a bomb. Hmm. inside these oh okay I jumped far higher than I intended to looks like a lot of wiring mostly oh wait there's a plant to heal there you go um, where am I going now Search for a way to shut down the hospital. Well, first I gotta get out of this room. Get up maybe onto the upper levels? Okay. No, there's grating there. Or not grating. Chain link there. I just bumped my head. Um, hmm. Is there a break in it anywhere? Wait, is there a unpowered? All of the wires. Oh, okay. That just leads to the bomb. I'm looking for a reactor that I can charge up. There's gotta be one around here somewhere, right? No? Oh boy, my arm's getting a bit out of control there. Oh! Oh my god, I'm dumb. There's a pair there's a stairs right over here. Let's go! Oh, 
Oh. Puts an interesting spin on things. Typical instruments are unable to puncture the specimen until the discovery of the Amrita blade. Amrita energy contains the ability to cross into the ethereal creature's face. Huh. Why are they trying to puncture the eggs? So does that mean that I'm firing out Amrita? Little creature eggs? Ew. Since we had to catch the saboteurs in the act, we allowed them access into the Astra facility during their night of attack. Admittedly, their plan was rather genius. Since Astra and Soma are linked, they intended to fire the Thanatos cannon connected to Astra's thermal storage at the Soma facility's energy reservoir to create a feedback loop of amplifying intensity until the system blows out. Not unlike a microphone to a speaker. Hmm. Another door. Assuming the Thanatos prototype proves successful, the weapon will be immobilized by placing it upon the deck of a battleship, or more than ideally, an aircraft carrier. As in order to increase the cannon's range, it must be elevated to a high vantage point. Otherwise, it, its use will be limited to the coast. I'll get to you in a second. God. If the Project Habakkuk ice carrier prototype proves successful, we should be able to mount a high enough shaft which will raise the Thanatos upon, upon its unprecedented massive hull. So they even had a ship specially designed for this thing. We had temporarily removed the live seed from the Soma reactor necessary for the amplification, thus creating a harmless feedback loop when they attempted to fire Thanatos. Without the live seed, their plan was doomed to fail from the beginning. I will not tolerate any more disruptions. We have lost too much ground to Manhattan. Operations will resume exponentially. If the orbs will not suffice, then we'll use the damn valley itself. What has science done, am I right?
For the life scene. The life scene. What about the life scene? We need that. God damn it. I guess we can't find it. I'm too dead to care. No, oh, okay. I guess I can't skip this one. Ah, okay. I wonder if I die by fire. seem to be taking more damage than before. Why? They're definitely taking a couple of additional hits. Oh, it's because I don't have the light seed anymore. Probably. Well, let's go. Oh boy. <laughs> 
Don't worry. We have the God Hand. We can bring everything back to life. God damn, that's sad though. In saving we, the valley, we ended up destroying it. How's that for irony? With the combined power of Thanatos and the Brahm Astral Bomb, the power to control the world will lie within the hands of a small few. Every nation on Earth will tremble. No, no, we could have, we could have put the power or the life back into the world. Oh. Oh, they're able to do it too. It's not just me. Well, that was Thanks everyone who ended up joining me for this. God damn, that was fun. I'm so glad I got this game. Honestly, I'd say this is worth the $20. This is a incredibly fun and actually pretty good narrative experiment experience. Combat doesn't really get all that complicated. It does have a final boss, but past that it's just really good. A bit heavy on the reading though. But I guess how else are you, are you gonna send the exposition? Actually, no, they could have just removed a lot of the pages because a lot of it was given by exposition. Yeah. I'm just going to sit through these credits because th these developers really deserve it. else to say. Just a really, really good game. Totally worth the twenty dollars it's it costs. I mean I got it for a reduced price, but I think if I had known how much fun this game was, I think I would have gotten it for the for, for the full price. And I advise anyone who is kind of on the edge to definitely pick this up for the full price they have made a fantastic experience oh god I'm glad they didn't use any of those models if I had just been a dude it would have made this a lot more a lot less interesting a dude with kangaroo legs is significantly more fun Oh yeah, for those who are wondering about the Witcher stream, yes, I'm still doing it. This is just a surprise stream. I had this just stored up in my Steam library and felt like streaming tonight, so here you are. But yeah, Witcher will continue tomorrow. Also, this music is goddamn beautiful.
I wonder if there's like a new game plus. Where you can move around with all of your abilities. Probably not, honestly. Because why would there be? Gaining the abilities is kind of what limits how you move around the world in the beginning. The world wouldn't have any linear sense if you already had everything. Oh, wait, was this a Patreon? Or a, um, not a Patreon. A Kickstarter? I'm gonna go check if this was a Kickstarter. Look at all this amazing concept art, too. the Wikipedia for this. I, yeah, anyone who is wondering if they should pick this up would heartily recommend picking this up. I think this is probably one of my favorite narrative experiences this year so far. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this and I'm gonna go rewarm my my um, garlic bread because it's been smelling amazing for like the past two or past two hours, the past three hours effectively, and I have been ignoring it. So I'll be back. I really hope that I can get a, a um, soundtrack of this because this is amazing. Um, Okay, it looks like there is kind of a new game plus. All right, I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, let me go ahead and pull up the entire spiel. All right. Thank you everyone for joining me today. If you like my content, give a thought to following or subscribing to my Twitch or YouTube channel, depending on how you are watching this. If you like this content, let me know. I may do more stuff like this in the future. This is actually um, very much a may do more of this sort of stuff in the future because there I have other games like this. Canarium is one of them. I've done Canarium in the past. Canarium took about two sessions. Um, but yeah, if you would really, really like this, just seriously let me know i 
really enjoy doing this sort of work, or not this sort of work, but these sort of games, because they're just a, a beautiful narrative experience for me and take kind of a lot of the effort off of my life. Anyway, uh, if you feel the need to help out, I also have a donation button on the Twitch channel. Uh, you just hit the bu donation button, it's that easy. But I'll see you guys later. Tomorrow, Witcher 2 and the end of Act 2. There's a lot of twos going on. So come if you want to see the drug fight in full Oathbreaker armor. <laughs> That's going to be fun. I'll see you guys later. Oh no, I can't stop the stream.